So we've got a lot going on here. Um, we're going to talk about sensor tilt today. I wanted to do the sensor tilt video last weekend, but I it was hard to reach the telescope without the deck on because it was obviously elevated. Um, so I couldn't reach the telescope last weekend. And this weekend I ran into a problem. I was going to do it last night, uh, but the filter slider drawer from Star Arizona covers up the screws for the tilt plate. Just covers them up. So I'm going to take the file and notch this right now. Right now. Okay, that's better. I've got a notch now. I can get at those screws to actually adjust the tilt plate. Uh, the top adjuster I can reach by just taking the drawer out. And I don't want to slot every single one of my drawers, or maybe I do someday, but not right now. So at least now we can adjust it. All right, so now that I will actually be able to adjust this, uh, we are going to dial it in tonight. I'm gonna go through and get all this <laughs> aluminum shavings off of here. But uh, yeah, we'll dial it in tonight. And the, uh, the principle is deceptively simple. Um, on, this, on this camera, well, first let's talk about sensor tilt. It's, it's not something you hear a lot about and uh, it's extremely important. And I would think that I would hear more about it. Because if your camera is not orthogonal with the axis of your light, your light cone, if your sensor is not at a 90 degree angle from the axis of your light cone, your entire image is not going to be in focus. You, you know, you will not be getting the most out of your, uh, your optics, not by a long stretch. Uh, you might notice that, you know, the bottom corner, the bottom right corner of your images is always out of focus. That's probably due to sensor tilt. Um, there's a uh, there's a program that you can download to inspect this, inspect this, called CCD Inspector. It costs one hundred and eighty dollars, which is expensive for something you're going to use like twice over the course of your life. Uh, but there's a free trial, so download it, take an image, and run it through the CCD Inspector and inspect your curvature, and. Uh, that's probably going to show some curvature. Now take and rotate your camera a little bit and do that again. If the, the curvature pattern stays the same, then you've got sensor tilt. If the curvature pattern rotates by the amount that you rotated your camera in the opposite direction, uh, then you've got some other issue like uh, your, uh, your focuser is drooping or some misaligned optics somewhere. So sensor tilt might not be the problem for your uh, focal plane issues, but by doing a, a quick test, by rotating the camera, you can tell if you do have sensor tilt. And uh, if you don't have a tilt plate adapter on your camera, you can buy them. Um, they will screw into your imaging train somewhere and you can adjust your tilt. Uh, I've seen a few different kinds. Um, if you don't want to do all that, you can shim your focuser, if you've got a focuser bolted to the side of the Newtonian, you can shim it a little bit, um, gets, put something underneath the screws. That's, that's a process. But uh, for today, we're just going to talk about how to use a, a tilt plate. And if you've ever collimated a primary mirror in a Newtonian telescope, this will be an altogether familiar process. You've got three sets of screws on here. Um, one of them goes through the tilt plate and is threaded into the camera body. One of them is threaded into the tilt plate and pushes against the camera body. And you use those two screws in conjunction to lock the plate into position. It's a push, push screw and a pull screw. And you've got six screws, three push screws and three pull screws. And that allows you to orient the plate in any direction you want. Um, so you start 
Well, first you got to understand what the information the CCD inspector is giving you. Um, you got to understand how to interpret that information. See, this is this is the bottom of my camera. This is the top of my camera. If you're looking at the back of it, when you look at a corner of your image, if you're looking at the top right corner, that's being represented by the bottom left corner of your sensor. Everything is crisscrossed from your sensor. Like the light that hits this corner of the sensor is going to show up on this corner of your image. If you're looking at the front of it, it's just flipped top to bottom. You know, if you're looking at the front of your sensor like this, then what's showing up on this top right corner is going to be in the bottom right corner of your sensor. But if you're looking at the back, it's the bottom left. And that's how you have to interpret your results when you go to make your adjustments in CCD ins Inspector. Um, you've got three sets of screws. Two of them will be on one side of the sensor, one long side, and your other one will be on the middle. So the first step you do is to get, take the side with the two screws on it and even those out so that your sensor is um, even left to right, right? So you just push one of these in a little bit. You normally don't have to make huge adjustments, uh, but you push one of these in or out a little bit and even up the sensor left to right and then you use the screw, the side with one screw on it to tilt that side back and forth to a even it out top to bottom, and then you'll be square. Um, something to be very mindful of is binding when you're doing this. If this whole plate is bottomed out against your camera body, you're not gonna be able to adjust it at all because if you try to push one out, the only way it can go is out. If you try to push one out, you can see if you, you it, these two screws draw a line here, that's where that's gonna pivot. And the other end of that plate is gonna be bottomed out against your camera. So it's not going to be able to go anywhere. So when we start this, the first thing we do is back off push screws all the way. Push screws on this are the little screws. Back them off all the way. Tighten your pull screws down so your plate is bottomed out against your sensor or against your camera body. Okay, so the pull screws are all tightened down. Now I take and loosen the pull loosen the, the big screws, the pull screws up by one half turn. And then snug up the push screws against the camera body. And you can get a lot more precise with this if you want a better starting point uh, with, you know, shims. You can take a little feeler gauge and really, you know, get the plate perfectly perpendicular to the camera body. But that, that's where I start. You can see there's a little gap all the way around. And you also want to be mindful of light leaks, too, because a lot of these aren't particularly well engineered and if there's a gap in that plate lights gonna leak through there so normally after I get it all dialed in I'll just put a piece of tape around that to make sure light doesn't leak in there uh, but yeah that's our starting point and uh, we will wait for it to get dark and get this thing dialed in okay I learned something uh, new today I've I fought with this thing to get the sensor tilt dialed in all night last night um, well, it was freezing, so as long as I could stand it, it was like two hours in the cold. And I fought with it, and it turned out that my old method of just, you know, dialing the screws back a half a turn and then, you know, just to back the plate off a little bit, that was not accurate enough. Um, my old system was much more forgiving than the Hyperstar, and by just ballparking it like that, it was not nearly close enough Um as a starting point on the Hyperstar. So I used a, a feeler gauge to really accurately set the plate around all three screws, very perpendicular, and it gave me a much better starting point, and I only had to give it a little tweak 
like three times. Um, so yeah, I've got it dialed in. Let's go into the house and I'll show you on the computer what it looked like. All right, so we're back in the house. Um, I'm looking at my computer outside that's controlling the telescope. And uh, so we, we took our first exposure. I was just taking 10 second exposures. And the very first one looked like this. This is not that bad. So I took and adjust, as I'm looking at the back of the camera, I, adjust, I pushed the bottom left hand corner out just a hair, just a, like, you know, just a tweak, you know, one tiny little adjustment out. And that gave us this. This is that CCD inspector program I talked about. These are these four images. You load it up and just hit curvature and it'll give you this graph. And uh, that obviously looked like a little bit too much. So I dialed it back just a little bit. And that gave us this. Now, this is telling us that the top of the sensor looks really good. The bottom is still a little bit too close. You know, it might be too far. You just have to see when you adjust it, does it get better or does it get worse? And here we're a little bit too close. So I just just tweaked the bottom two screws to push it out a little bit and that gave us this and this is fairly beautiful um, you know nine percent curvature no tilt and the corners all look really nice and uh, yeah you'll you'll just when you're really dialing it in you have to make very very small adjustments and uh, you know if you're patient with it I tonight I nailed it Okay, it took four, four, four iterations, but last night it was like 40 before I gave up and just, and by that time I had, you know, screws binding and I was just getting frustrated and binding was my biggest problem last night. I just, getting a nice starting point with a feeler gauge will really help you. It helped me tonight tremendously. Um, so yeah, this... This is actually the M87 Galaxy. You can see that super luminal jet right here. That's pretty neat. But uh, yeah, if you look in the, let me make sure we're set to quality here. Okay, optimized quality. But yeah, you look in, in the very corners of the image and we have pretty nice looking stars everywhere. Um, so yeah, the sensor is definitely nice and flat. I mean, slight, slight elongation, but on a sensor this big, that's not that bad. Um, yeah, they look pretty good in the corners. M much better than they did before, actually. Uh, but yeah, we can live with that. We're, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there forever and uh, start doing some imaging. So that's, that's sensor tilt, very important. It is the only way to get the most out of your uh, your imaging system. Talk to you later everybody, clear skies.